everyone and, and welcome to this fly tying video from Nordic Anglers. Uh, today we're gonna tie a salmon fly and this is a very very classic pattern that has caught just ins an insane amount of fish throughout the, throughout the history of, of salmon fishing. It's the red butt. And, and this is probably one of the most famous classics around. I have, I have you know, I, I've spiced things up a little and, and added a bit, uh, a, a small new things to, to this pattern. But in essence, this is the same as, as, the, as the completely classic one. It's a truly, truly remarkable, fairly simple fly to tie, but a bit tricky to get to look uh, exactly as good as, as it should be. Um, uh, as I said, it's, it's, it's simple, but, but the devil is in the detail. This is a really, really remarkable salmon fly. If you haven't tied this and don't have this in your box, you should because it really, really is a good fly. So now we're gonna tie the red butt salmon fly. So let's get started on the on the red butt, the really, really classic, classic, classic salmon fly here. The first thing we need is a hook. And I'm tying on the Arex HR420, double uh, in size 8. It's a nice hook for, for things like this. Uh, the Arex hooks are really, really great. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we sell a lot of those. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm going to start off by uh, making a sound uh, layer of tying thread all the way down here. Sorry about the squeaks there. I'm just gonna. If you take your 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 bobbin and then you just basically grease it here, then you will avoid a lot of the squeaking because you will always have a bit of <laughs> nose grease or whatever you want to call it, and and that will help a lot for with the with the squeaking. So as I said, we're moving down here, and and we want the silver tag and then a red butt. So for, for the tag here, I'm going to use um, uh, some, uh, some Vivus, uh, and the tag thread is also Vivus. I'm really, really fond of the, of the, Vivus, uh, the Vivus product line. Uh, we're going to use some Vivus uh, tinsel, oval tinsel, French tinsel in silver, in the fine. And uh, basically, I'm tying this on the underside of the of the hook here without using too much thread because what we need here is is this is also going to be where the where the the butt is and basically the first thing we do is is turn it underneath and then up around then underneath and around and if if you do it like this do it these eight turns eight loops then you can you can basically turn it around the uh, the two uh, hooks and then give this a really, really nice, nice. Uh, this is the best way of making a tag here, for for a double hook. So underneath and around, underneath and around, underneath and around, underneath and around. And then you can you can you can pull this tight, pull this tight, and really just tight. Oh, I need one more turn here on this side in order for this to be to be even. And there you see, there you have it. And then you will end on the on the on the top side with the tying thread. So I'm gonna do do like this. I'm gonna cut off this here because we don't need it for the for the butt. And then I'm gonna make sure that everything is even and easy for me to do the to do the do the butt part of of, uh, of this fly with cutting off some uh, some yarn here. This is not polygon. This is Antron yarn, of course, in in red. Oh, normally this is fairly easy to to pull out, so it's not. I'm not gonna f use the full the full width. I took about half, and again, I'm gonna try to to control this by adding it to the tank thread, looping it around the tank thread, then I can completely control where I place this before I tie it down. And then I'm turning the uh, turning the yarn here, making sure that I have 
as even as possible a butt here. It is not completely even, but it's it's fairly close. If you really want to do this, you can you can. It, it's probably easier with with floss, but but I don't I don't want to I don't want to do that. I just want to use the same material as I did. And you can you can if you have a have a pair of scissors, you can you can you know basically manipulate it into into shape. But but I I'm I'm okay I'm okay with this one. This one was 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 fairly fairly. Uh, Fairly, fairly straight and fairly, fairly um, even. And now we need to take uh, another piece of uh, of the entron here for uh, for the tail. And I'm gonna I'm gonna double this. Took a took a piece and and I and I double this and this is gonna be the tail. So basically, I just I tie this in so it's it's fairly long. all the way up to the butt and then I cut this so it's gonna be it's gonna taper so as you can see I, I cut it I cut it kind of in an angle to make it taper so it looks it looks better on the on the fly here. There you go. There we have the tail, and I'm satisfied with the length. I'm going to cut this off. Maybe use some of it for the uh, for the body, so to to make that even in in diameter as well. And then I'm going to take some uh, again some some silver uh, silver tinsel. Tie this on the underside again. And then if you want to do this the easiest and the fast way, basically just manipulate this tie. Oh, not like that. Tie along all the way up to cover the body here so it's it's fairly even in 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 diameter cut this away so it the 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 body is prepared for your for your dubbing back again and then on the uh, on the original pattern, this is a completely black dubbing, but I like this uh, this black with some some red in there uh, from uh, from Spawn. Uh, there is a lot of UV and uh, and uh, and um, and fluorescent stuff in here, so so I like this uh, really much for 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 patterns like this. And basically, you just make your the body here. And this is it has it has to be not too thick, but it has to to taper a bit, so it's 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 thinnest towards the tail, and then gradually becomes a bit thicker. Not much, but a bit thicker. So it it has kind of a kind of a tapering kind of a, a tapering effect all the way up here towards the eye, like so. I'm gonna take my my rib here no that's not ideally you want five turns but this is a fairly small hook so five was is a bit much I think I'm gonna go for four there we go four turns of the rib and uh, and I end I started on the underside, so I also ended stopped on the underside, which means that there is going to be four on every single uh, from every angle. It's going to have four four turns of the of the rib. I know that's probably not crucial for the fish, but uh, it is if 
it is a nice touch if you if you know uh, you know if, if if you're into that sort of thing you want your flight to look as as good as possible and that's something to 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 think about we need the wing here i'm going to do this with black arctic fox uh, because that's a nice and lively material it looks really really well in the water um and it's just a cool 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 material I'm just going to pull out some of the longest hairs here i pulled out some of the uh, some of the woolly part and i pulled out some of the longest hairs and this wing has to be a bit longer than the uh, than the tail And of course, depending on what exactly you're fishing and stuff like that, you need to consider how dense a wing you want. Something like this will work will work fine for for most things, but you could you could make it even more dense or even less dense depending on the the water levels and conditions. So, if you want, you could add some flash to the fly now, but um, I'm not gonna do that. That's not in the in the original one. And um, basically, I'm going to take the front hackle in the original pattern. Then the front hackle is a false hackle, so it's only only tied underneath. But um, I like it better, and and I think the fly looks better and fishes better if if it has a, a, a hackle all the way around. So I'm going to take a, this is a soft hackle. This is a hen hackle from a hen saddle, and I'm going to I'm going to tie this. I, I fold it back like so and then I tie it in the, the, the tip here on top of the uh, on top of the wing I'm gonna cut off the stump here then I'm turning the hackle while I fold everything back in order to get the hackle to to be the right way and you want to 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 carefully estimate how much hackle you need I think this will do for me I'm going to tie this down here and cut off the hackle the rest of the hackle I'm going to fold everything back and force everything in place. This also so gives you This also gives you uh, a, a good way to make the uh, the actual uh, the actual head small and uh, and nice. You see like this? Perfect. And then the finishing touch is to add a jungle cock. Um, jungle cock is hard to come by. So so what I use for, for flies like this is the is the pro artificial jungle cock. They are by far the best artificial jungle cock out there. Uh, they're called Pro HR Jungle Cock, and uh, and they are really really awesome. They're really really durable, um, and uh, and and they are very close, <laughs> as close to the real thing as you can get with something that's that's not the real thing. They look really really awesome on the flies, um, and and also they're, they're very easy to use. So basically, I take one of these on on each side here. like this and then on the other side as well like that cutting the rest of the the jungle cock off you need a, a as good a scissor as possible for 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 tying these flies. And then finishing the head here. Of course, now you need to do a whip finish. 
and after that apply a ton of uh, a ton of uh, varnish or just a basic coat of, of super glue uh, of Sabagap. And there you have it. The black butt. No, the red butt, of course. It's a bit different from the completely original one, but uh, but this is uh, this is a cool way of doing it. The black butt. No, the red butt. As always, uh, if if you enjoyed this video, please please subscribe to uh, to my channel. Um, and uh, and swing by my web shop. It's called Nordic Anglers. We have a lot a lot of uh, stuff. We have more than twelve thousand products in stock, and uh, and we have the full material kit for this and many many other flies. So so if you if you like what you saw, please please subscribe to the channel and uh, swing by uh, our web shop. That would mean a lot to us. Um, thank you for watching and uh, well, good luck out on the waters.